Tuesday's Mirror and the BBC is in trouble over a breach of impartiality rules now, Nick. Yes, M BBC News presenter M Martin Croxall is understood to have been taken off air following a potential breach of impartiality during Sunday night's edition of the papers. I'm sure we've all seen it on Twitter, many of us. She was giggling. She said, she said am, I allow am I allowed to be this gleeful? Well, I am. And it seemed to be in reference to Boris pulling out. There's an argument, right. really generous argument, that if you're being much more objective than she was being, you could say... Well, she was just talking about the general excitement of events moving. But then later, yeah. when someone made a joke about Boris, she was giggling. and She said, I'm probably breaking some terrible due impartiality rule. Yes, you are. That's why there's a licence fee. So it's pretty appalling because she was less objective than I would be on a show with no licence fee. There's yeah. a comedy show where I'm actually on it to be conservative. She's at the BBC. And what's really unfortunate is I know people who work hard behind the scenes at the BBC to maintain standards. And then you just get arrogant presenters who just don't care about all of that. They're in their bubble. They're just yeah. like, I, it's Boris is gone. This is great. We're all having a great time. And it rightly really annoys people because you're paying yeah. the licence fee for impartiality. And I suppose you... I mean, well, just to play devil's advocate on that a little bit, it might depend to some extent on the context. Maybe uh, the papers... I mean, I mean, this sounds like this, I haven't seen it. It sounds like it's our direct competition. It's this, yeah. But, but it, it, I mean, we do it as an entertainment show, right? And I know we're not the BBC, so we are not under well, the same the key, remit. Yeah. But we do try and get impartiality because we get both sides. Mm. Yeah, but at the same time, stuff, yeah. we might have a bit of a laugh about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and, it, and the other, it, no, but this is this is the BBC and. Mm. She, she just thought she could do it. If you're Emily Maitlis, you sort of get away with it because of your status. And, and to be fair, Maitlis never went as far as actually laughing yeah, at the idea. Yeah, but she's not a news... She's not doing it as a newsreader. No. She's doing it as a host. We've all hosted. Yeah. So we've all expressed yeah. our opinions on particular things. Look, it is our main competition. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> bad. They've got, like, little box talking heads and yeah. whatever. But what she, what's frustrating is if you look at the original clip that went viral, they cut together these two bits together which is like yeah. her laughing and she's not laughing at but she's laughing at a specific joke about she's it she's not laughing at the general word no she, and so that she, she's like she i'm is. excited she says i'm gizzy excited i think she is there's an argument there that she was actually there's an argument but, but I've well, okay well the first bit she doesn't mention boris at all she's talking about like the fast changing news like how exciting it is later it. on that's cut next to a bit much later in the show where it's, uh, one of her guests makes a joke about boris johnson and she laughs at it and says i'm breaking the rules of impartiality those yeah. two bits were put together and now a big hoo ha has been made of it. I think the BBC News is one of the weakest parts of the BBC service. I myself have argued very much against their. Uh, supposed impartiality or whatever because they, mm. I've, they've been so wrong on so many different things. But on this particular thing, it upsets me because it's it just they're making Trivial. a big, big... And it does look... It's a lot thing for the mirror to go in hard on, isn't it? Yeah. Just the mirror to do it. Sort of, I remember... The, I know this is not quite the same thing, but you remember during the, um, the Clinton-Trump uh, 2016 election, that night when it really amazed everyone on all the coverage, people mm. were like, I can't believe it, it looks like Trump's going to win. I think it was Jake Tapper was a CNN host, very high-profile one, started referring to the Democrats, to Clinton, as we, and he kept having to correct oh, himself. Really? Okay. We just need to hold new... Ha they, <laughs> they just need to hold... And it really was extraordinary, and it was a massive... I mean, that obviously the whole Trump administration just revealed mm. the extraordinary bias that ran through, because previously, I think, everyone in this country had always thought Fox News mm. is biased and the others are all just well, CNN's fine, meant you know, to be basically. balanced. Yeah. But, uh, but, but no, clearly not.